We also want to talk then about art appreciation. And Charlotte's method for this was called picture study. It's very simple, but very effective. And you are basically introducing your child to an artist and letting that child form a personal relation with the artist. Here's how you do it. You should each have one of these pictures, one of these little postcards. This is by Jean-Francois Millet. That's all the French I can say, and I probably butchered that, so ignore that. It's called The Bouquet of Daisies. And this is what I want you to do. I want you to look at the picture. Look at it until you can close your eyes and see this picture in detail in your mind's eye. If there's a certain part that's a little fuzzy, not quite in detail, then open your eyes and look at that part again until you can see the whole picture in detail hanging on the mental art gallery you have. Okay, everybody's ready. All right, turn it over and keep it turned over until I tell you you can flip it back, all right? Tell me about the picture. It's a little girl with a, um, looks like she's in, in a house. There's a wood, uh, wood grain windowsill uh, or to the left with a knot hole. There mm -hmm. is, uh, looks like the, the le window ledge is stone, has a blue pot, beautiful daisies, sunshine on the daisies, um, a red pin cushion, scissors, uh, kind of an orange string uh, there. She's in the shadow, uh, but it looks like she has a, a tan dress, dark eyes, hair parted down the middle, uh, okay. a dark background <laughs> and light at the front. She said it all. Okay. No, there's more. You can add more. There is more you can add. Good oh, job. J.R. Miller is inscribed on the stone. And her pins in the pin cushion. Mm -hmm. She's wearing gold. Mm -hmm. There's even in some of the pins of the pin cushion, there's some thread coming out from some of them. Mm -hmm. And the daisies look like they have grass kind of stuck in it because mm -hmm. it doesn't just look like daisies, it's like other stalks of green stuff. And some of the daisies are hanging down, mm -hmm. some are perky, some are turned opposite direction. Mm -hmm. Looks there's like afternoon sun. There's one that's stuck in the scissors too, or something. It looks like they were using the scissors to cut it. It's down there. Now don't turn it over yet. I saw some of you reaching for that. <laughs> yes. The look on her face didn't show her as one to be the center of attention. She's right. Like yes. Yeah. She was fighting. She was keeping through. Yes. Mm -hmm. Everything is rough. The vase was rough. The house is rough. Mm -hmm. And the daisies are beautiful. Anything else? All right. Good job. Turn it over now. There might have been some things mentioned that you weren't quite sure or that you hadn't quite noticed before. Double check those things. I thought that the name on the windowsill was the artist. I don't know. It's hard to see if it's Miller or Millet. Oh, it's Millet. It's Millet. Is it? Okay. So it might be J.F. Millet for Jean-Francois? Yeah. But it does look like it's carved. That's neat. Yeah. That's neat. She could be an older You think so? I thought so too at first. That she was older? Well, that's basically how you would do picture study. It took us all of about five minutes, but let me ask you this. If you walked into a hotel lobby and saw this picture on the wall, would you have a relation with it? Mm -hmm. Yes, just from looking at it. So what you would do with picture study is you choose your artist. In this case, maybe we're going to do Malay. And you use six different pictures of his. So we'll start with the bouquet of daisies. We'll do that one this week. Once a week is all you need to do this, and it took, you know, five or ten minutes. We'll start with this one this week. And then the next week or two, we'll do another one by Malay. And the next week or two, we'll do another one. So you can do six different works by the same artist. You can take six weeks. Charlotte took 12 weeks. Spread it out a little bit more. But by the end of the time of studying those six works, you're going to have a pretty good feel for that artist's style. And you didn't have to go through and do art criticism and tell your child what to look for. It's introducing your child to the artist and getting out of the way. 
So your child is going to form a relation with Malay. And then when you walk into that hotel lobby and it's hanging on the wall and your child says, Mommy, that's a Malay. You can say, that's right, honey, say it louder. <laughs> <laughs> All right? You let the child form his own relationship with it. I, I have a success story about that. Yes. Um, my, I was studying Van Gogh with my six-year-old recently, and I guess my three-year-old was paying attention because <laughs> he recognized the Van Gogh. He says, Mommy, Van Gogh. And he even associated the style of painting, you know, all the uh, mm -hmm. thick, with something else he saw as a stool. And he said, Mommy, Van Gogh. Mm -hmm. And at first I was like, what? But it had the same kind of markings. Oh, wow. The style. That is cool. Yeah, usually when I do picture study, these little cards are nice, but it's hard to see details. Sometimes the little details are really hard to see. You've got to get out your magnifying glass and really look at them. So I like to use the big pictures when we do picture study. Like this. You can see the details much easier. The only thing is that these big art books are expensive, usually. Now, I found, I found a whole slew of these at the Borders Bargain section. They were like five bucks a piece. And what you're looking for is find, it that, find a book that focuses on one artist and has oversized reproductions of his stuff with minimal commentary. You don't want somebody to criticize this to your child and tear it all to pieces. You want to present the picture to your child and let him form his own relation with it. So that works well. We do a picture study, and then I put it on an easel in a prominent place about eye level at our house, and it stays there for the next week until I pull it off and look for another one. Another place you can find pictures, if you can't find books like this, you can look at calendars. You know, once they get old, once it gets to be like March or April and they discount all the calendars for a dollar a piece or something, you can find calendars that focus on one artist. Now sometimes those reproductions are not as faithful, not quite as well done as a big book like this. But that is better than nothing. Go ahead and get it. These little postcards you can get at Dover Publications. They have a little book of postcard size prints by the artist, and it's $1.50 for the book. You get six little postcards, six different works, in one book for $1.50. That way the child can have his own copy if you want. Um, another thing you can do is go online to Art Cyclopedia or some of the National Gallery art museums. Let me give you a little hint. Go there and find your picture first because sometimes what comes up on the screen is not appropriate for the kids to see. So go find your picture first, bring it up on your computer, do your picture study there, and then some moms make that their screensaver for the rest of the week. All this technology Charlotte never had. You can also just Google images, and I typed in Van Gogh, and it came up with all, and that's what I did. I used it as my desktop background and had it up all week. Excellent, yeah, yeah. So those are some ideas of how you can help your child form a personal relation with art, both expressing it and appreciating someone else's art.